Uh, this video is just a suggestion of how I think maybe you should go about doing polar area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, the area enclosed by... Uh, let me graph it for you. Insert graph. Uh, if I go to menu, graph type, polar. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, what? I'll do 3 sine of... And then I need theta, which is hiding down here. It's actually weird that it's there because a lot of the other things are values and then theta is a variable, but whatever. Um, graph it there. Now remember, you have to know how long it takes to trace this out. So what I can do is I can actually graph trace and uh, kind of watch it as it traces around. So, um, But I'm not finding that very useful. Uh, anyway, I actually know how long it takes, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, it takes pi radians. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, having defined the function now, one half the integral from zero to pi of, um, and now I'm going to actually use the function r1 of, I use t, it doesn't really matter actually, it's just a dummy variable at this point, and then dt, and it gives me that. Now if I think about it, I know that that it, what I just graphed was a circle that had a uh, radius of 3 halves, so I know that I'm getting pi and then 3 halves squared, which is nice, um, because it worked. Uh, and that's how I recommend you do all of the polar things, because uh, a lot of polar curves are really messy. So first store the function, uh, and remember to store a function, you can either put it in the graph or you can actually define it yourself, r of t set equal to, I don't know, um, so that's colon equals, you have a key for that, which I always forget about, because I type so often. R of t is set equal to whatever, it could just be 5t, something like that. Um, store it first, if it doesn't say done, you haven't stored it correctly. Um, so for instance, uh, let's say uh, r2 of t equals 5t, it's not going to say done, it's just going to repeat it. So make sure it says done, after it says done, make sure you know the minimum interval to repeat itself. And then once you know that, um, you know, set up the integral and use it. But definitely store that function first. Typing it in is uh, too risky. All right, well, hope that's helpful.